I was first introduced to United Methodist Women when I was invited to a spring luncheon by my longtime friend Sandy Pullinger. I was invited to join the Catherine Hill Circle by Karen Yeager and Claudia Ingram. My first exposure with uh, Wesleyan Guild was with um, my neighbor, Betty. When my husband and I moved to Florida, uh, we came to church one Sunday morning. And after church was over, the lady that was sitting next to me recognized me because she lived on the street where we were building a house. And she was having circle that very week, and she invited me to come. Mom came home and told me that we were going to be transferred to Oklahoma City. I had one very wise friend who said, well, Mary Margaret, when you get there, the thing for you to do is join the Methodist Church and then find a circle. And each time we moved um, to a new place, we would join the Methodist Church and I would get involved in a circle. And that has continued up to this very time uh, when we moved here. Our circle began as a playgroup. We, yeah. we wanted a forum to get together with our friendships and um, uh -huh. deepening our faith and our walk. And um, we thought it was just a natural progression to become a UMW circle. Denise was nice enough to invite me to come to Creative Concerns and she felt that since we were all the same age that I might really enjoy that. We moved to Brandon in 1990 and I joined the circle probably about 91 or 92 and you're the new kid, right? Well, I'm the new kid. <laughs> I just actually just walked into the church office and uh, was looking for a new church and Laureen said, you need to be in Creative Concerns. I just would not have had so many growing experiences and, and through the teenage years when our girls were, were growing up and we all had lots of concerns about how things were going to go with our children. To know that you've got that group behind you that's praying for you, you know you could call anybody and they would be glad to help you out. When I uh, first uh, found out that I had cancer, it was... Uh, devastating with the prayers of my circle and God had, does have other plans and, and they have um, given me the strength to continue to fight the cancer. Little did I know that in just a very short time I would be dealing with my mother's terminal illness. I had someone call and say do you need a meal and when my mother passed away the Catherine Hill Army was there with food and supplied food for my family for the entire week. There were many family members and friends that were either unchurched or from other denominations that were taken aback by the outpouring of love and support. When anybody's ill or when we have a baby, when I have my second and when I have my third, people from the circle, people from the Sunday school class, but also particularly the circle, really rally around you, bring you dinners, take care of you. I think we've all experienced that at one time or another. My prayer partner Allison and I, we email each other back and forth that there's just little things going on in the day and you're feeling dejected or frustrated and knowing that there's somebody else lifting you up in prayer is just so comforting. One of the biggest things that I have gained from the group is to have that confidence to actually step out of my comfort zone and start the Wednesday Bible study. I started going through the teenager stuff before the other ones did. And I recall one day giving the prayer at the beginning of our meeting and I became so overwhelmed with my needs at the time, I, I can't even express how much this circle was a support to me. It just strengthened my faith that I knew that it was gonna get better and it made me feel stronger. Three years ago, my mother was very ill with lung cancer and I, I was going through a lot of stressful time and I just remember how supportive everyone in our circle was. Two ladies from the nominating committee came to my house one morning and um, asked me if I would serve as the president. And so I had my reasons already for not doing that. But um, they said they understood that and they asked me if I would pray about it. Well, no one had ever asked me to pray about a decision. I began praying and also wondering how it was that God was really going to answer my prayers. I got out my Sunday school material and I was reading through it and the very last line for the lesson the next day was, what are you willing to do to show that you believe in Jesus Christ? 
and I felt like I had my answer. And I really feel that that is the foundation of my prayer life today because God was so faithful to me. There might not be one specific traumatic event that's happening in your life, but just to know that um, somebody else has been through what you're going through. And someone will sit there and they'll be really quiet. And we have to encourage them to open up. And there has never been a time when they have opened up, when they have regretted it. We've also had to learn to receive, to receive that kind of love that's coming from God. And when you've received it, you really want to give it back. Mm -hmm. We have our pecan sale here, and we try, we, we give the money away. But it really keeps us going, and we, we do the pecan sale, and then we're done with it. And then we can focus on all of these other things. Just my dollar is so small, but when it joins with other dollars and uh, goes into the global mission of our church, <clears throat> it does so much good. Some of my uh, best experiences have been through working on the Pecan Project. And I can think of this one gal in particular who uh, joined to help me with the Pecan Sale. And she would stay till the very end of the day because of our involvement together with the Pecan Sale, she became a lot more involved with UMW. My passion this year um, is helping the homeless. And through UMW funds, we were able to make food packs. I was lucky enough to be at Cynthia Pinckney's Thanksgiving dinner at the Boys and Girls Club. And so I actually got to give these food packs, we made over a hundred of them, to kids, kids from two to 19. We had two 19 year old boys come through that were just as excited to get those food packs as the two-year-olds were. Our circle was given money to buy backpacks and work boots for the homeless. And the Catherine Hill Circle serves by collecting undergarments and food for Echo. We make favors for Meals on Wheels. It's allowed us to serve beyond just our circle body. Why we wanted to become a circle was because we wanted to model missions for our children. We went to a nursing home um, and we brought several of our young children. It was, And as adults, we tend to be so apprehensive in a nursing home and we look at how, how someone looks or how um, disabled they might be, but the kids did not see that at all. They showed Christ's love in a way that that we as, as adults, we tend to to, to have lost some of that innocence. It, it, was, it does make you want to continue to be the hands and feet. We were visited by a woman in seminary and she had visited a orphanage in Africa and was touched that these two missionaries were having dinner with the children they were trying to care for on the ground. And we coupled with other ministries within the church and partnered with them and the kids um, were able to help in partnering with these other ministries, raise the resources to provide a dining room table for this mission orphanage over in Africa. And they can really, really learn from that. That is important to give and is important to share. And that is exactly what um, Jesus is calling us to do. But we all together can play a small part in really mm -hmm. affecting change. One of the most personally rewarding service projects that we've been involved in for several years was first with Rainbow East Learning Center and we supported a toy drive at Christmas time. I heard from several people that it gave them a chance to go through their toys with their children and teach their children about giving. And from the point of view of the parents of the kids at Rainbow East, the parents could go through and pick out special gifts for their children. Working with service projects and especially children has definitely made me more aware of the blessings my family has. And I know that my outlook to my future has changed because of just the, the information that you learn from being around people and being around giving people. I know it, it has made me more aware. Um, I think most people want to help other people, but they don't know what to do. Through UMW, I think um, that we're made aware of people 
that need our help. And because of the pecan mm -hmm. sale, we have the resources to support these ideas. We go to the organization and the group, the whole group will embrace the idea. And John Wesley was instructing his followers to do all the good they can in all the places they can for all the people that they can.